Now you're saying it's just an idea. Continue with this attitude. It's just an idea. Breakfast, just an idea. Anything, it's just an idea. Keep this attitude and see what happens. It's beautiful. Now you speak of doubt. In a short while you speak about something else. Lunch. And then after that, shopping. And after this, something else. What is so significant about it? You feel that there's something, there's something about it, there's something in it. What's in it is your belief. What's in it is perhaps you're identifying with it. That's what's in it. Take those out and it's nothing at all. It has nowhere else to go but to subside again into where it came from. Let's take now another idea. Let's take the idea of oneness. First, separation. Now union, even. We speak of separation. You are separate from what? From the feeling of oneness, you say. And you being what? Who are you or what are you that is separate or become separated? Let's go into it a little bit. I don't have many questions for you, but these are good enough. Many beings feel this. I feel separate. I feel lost. I want to go home. I want to be with God. I want to be with myself. Whatever. These are words of separation. So let's define clearly what is the two components which have moved apart from each other. Separation. I am separate from what? Oneness. So I is what? Beyond the assumption, actually I is what? That's come apart. An idea. I is an idea. If only you re really believe what you're saying. You answer me very quickly. I is an idea. But it has been given much more attention than merely just an idea. Now you're saying it's just an idea. Continue with this attitude. It's just an idea. Breakfast, just an idea. Anything, it's just an idea. Keep this attitude and see what happens. It's beautiful. Now I say, something has become separate. The whole world believes in this separation, which gives rise to much suffering, also aggression. Hmm? So much comes out of this feeling of being separate from something, the beloved, if you want to call it that, from truth from wholeness. This sense of separation causes a lot of pain for so many human beings. Now I'm asking you, what is separated from what? We say from oneness or from wholeness. Something is separated from wholeness. I ask you, uh, this I that is separate from wholeness is what? And very quickly, not even three seconds pass, you say, it's just an idea. I said, oh, okay. Let's take it all as an idea. Just an idea. Then what's the problem? Then there is no problem. <coughs> Can I really take your words to be true? I want to listen to you, and uh, what you speak, I say, okay, I'm going to accept it. Excuse me? What you speak, I want to accept it. Yeah. See, this is what she said. Her heart is confirming now. It is just an idea. Is it temporarily an idea? Is it only an idea now while I'm sitting in this seat? Is there at another point, it's not merely an idea, it becomes a fact or something? 
because it has not taken you much time to say, but these are just ideas. Even I, the most profound, the most intimate of knowledge, because without I, almost every thought, every action, a reporting to I. I did it, I think, I want, I know, I practice, I seek. So this I, within three seconds, you have said, it's just an idea. Should I accept this from you totally? It's just an idea. And therefore, any time I see you, wherever I see you, it's just an idea. Then for how long will it take your attention, if it's merely an idea? That bus is passing, making that noise, and then some other creature is making this one. You know, can we all? Oh yes, but it's just an idea that these things are happening. It's not. It's not a big deal. It's only a momentary sensation. No big deal. Forget about it. Not worthy of any more attention than that. Even without giving it focused attention, it merely arises and passes through the space of your consciousness. It's gone. And you say, I, it's just an idea. I'll accept it. It's just an idea. I haven't slept for 25 years. It's a big problem. But now I see, it's just an idea. That it's a big problem, it's just an idea. And the one who has the problem, just an idea. I'm happy with this. And you also seem to be happy with it. <laughs> I know it is true, and now I also feel again doubts and fear coming up. Yes. It is okay for doubt and fear to come up, because it's just an idea. I am not playing just uh, games with you. Why is it not? Why, why is it more than an idea? Because you feel it in the body means it's it's not just an idea. You feel suspicion towards someone, and you feel real uh, enmity between them. Then you discover that it's the wrong person. This is not the one I should hate, it's this one I should hate. Okay? But while I'm hating you, it was just an idea. But what an idea! With belief, what an idea! Could we be experiencing life like this? So many things, it's just such a strong idea for me. I believe this so deeply. If it was more than an idea, if it is more than an idea, if it was a fact, then Every other human being should experience it as a fact. But in your mind, it is great. <gasps> so it is your idea, it's your belief. What you are afraid of, someone else, they don't even notice it. So it has no intrinsic power as fear. It's not that the thing is fear, you are afraid about it. This is what I'm asking, you see. I feel there is something very potent about this moment of looking for you. If you are willing to step up uh, to your own seeing, you said it's an idea. Do we know what it means by something being an idea? Meaning that it is not permanent, it's fleeting, it's limited. It's only a sensation arising now with belief or identity. Identity gives it more juice, gives it more a sense of authority, presence, reality. It has none by itself. All the thoughts Initially, they are equal in weightlessness. But identifying with them, believing with them, gives them power. If you only contemplate this, nothing more. If from today, what you take away from this moment is that to really look at this, examine all the things that seem to be so strong energies and presences in your life, and question, can they be more than just an idea?
Do we know what it means by something being an idea? Meaning that it is not permanent, it's fleeting, it's limited. It's only a sensation arising now with belief or identity. Identity gives it more juice, gives it more a sense of authority, presence, reality. It has none by itself. All the thoughts, initially, they're equal in weightlessness. But identifying with them, believing with them, gives them power. Examine all the things that seem to be so strong energies and presences in your life and question, can they be more than just an idea?